please take good care here. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing wonderful today. I wanted to jump on here really quickly um, to show you guys. Well, I'm actually moving out of my, um, out of this bag. I actually did a post not too long ago asking you guys to tell me which bag you would like me to review. And everyone, the this bag won. Um, however, there was one comment requesting that I show both. So I thought that I would just go ahead and do a um, bag switch video with you guys since I'm going to be uh, moving into my sandwich satchel. So yeah, if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and keep on doing this bag for about a week. Um, this is the Courtney sack and um, it is a nice bag. It's very, very big. It's like 15 long um, and just, you know, my experience over the week, I feel like it's a great bag. However, it is very, very big. It's not like the Florentine Clayton's where it's a structured bag. Um, and so when you put a lot in it, sometimes the top of it doesn't evenly um doesn't stay shut um i don't find like that i've had an issue with that i'm not i'm not concerned with security or anything as far as the bag because it is such a big and deep bag and it also has a really big zip right here where i can hold like my wallet and stuff like that but um there were times where it because of its size and its bulkiness if I didn't have enough to carry in here, it it could it it became somewhat uncomfortable because of how large it is. So that was just my experience. Um, I definitely love it, and we're definitely gonna keep it in in my collection. But it's definitely a bag that's more fit for people who carry large amounts of stuff um, because of its because of its uh, size. I feel like it's made to hold a lot. And if you don't have a lot in it, um, it can kind of become just like this big leather sack <laughs> that's like, you know, not very structured at all. Um, so if you have stuff to put in it, I think it's a great bag to wear. But because it's not a structured bag, if you don't have a lot of things in it, just prepare for it to kind of like feel kind of awkward sometimes on your shoulder that's how that's my experience i don't know if i explained that right but i did want to give a quick review on it um otherwise i think it's a really beautiful bag like i said i'm going to keep it in my collection i love the strap the strap hang on it has it's, has been great the bag is very secure even though there's no zip So guys, this is she. This is my beautiful sandwich satchel made by Dooney and Burke. And she is a beauty. Um, I got her during the winter sale um, at the end of the, at the end of last year. This bag goes for I think it goes for a bit above $350. It is Florentine leather, does have the green tassels like the regular florentine um satchels this is a size small i will leave the dimensions of it this one has the gold emblem here the gold duty and bark uh, emblem whereas the other um the other satchels have a leather patch on them but yes i got this one at a very very good price if you're following me on my facebook channel you would have seen me post when these were marked down. I don't know if it was a glitch um, or what it was, but I got mine for uh, like $100 and that was including shipping. So, uh, actually it was $109 and that was including. So, um, and like I said, these, these bags go for over $300 easily. Uh, and it may even be more than that now. I've noticed that Dooney has been going up on their prices. I posted it on my Facebook page when it was marked down. So if you're following me on my Facebook page, you would have seen this. Um, comment down below if you follow me on my page and you were able to grab one for yourself. Um, I would love to know um, if you were able to grab one. Is completely unwrapped 
and she is beautiful completely pebbled free there are some what some people call tiger stripes um i think that this is florentine leather y'all let me know if this is not a, a different if this is a different leather but i'm almost sure that this is the florentine leather there is some rough texturing here on the top of the bag but besides that i mean for the price it is a gorgeous gorgeous bag so this bag like the regular um florentine setup does come with a strap and and also a key keeper it does have the it does have the um the suede lining here I will say that the opening of the bag overall seems a little bit na more narrow than the small satchel, than the regular small satchel. Inside is the regular Juni setup. You have the, the zip pocket and the longer open pocket and on one side and then you have the two pockets. Sorry. Normally it has two individual pockets that are... Um, Put together like that but then there's that that's not how it is on this one it just has one long open pocket there so it has two open pockets one smaller one and one larger it does have the beautiful um leather uh strap braided strap and it also has the flap i really like this bag a lot um mostly because of the contrast I felt like it would go with a lot of different things. Um, I love the t lighter tan leather mixed with the more chocolatey brown tomorrow a leather. Um, and then of course the gold on it. it. Just I love the contrast and colors on this bag. Um, but they do have this one in different colors. They have it in all brown tomorrow. That that color is I believe still available right now on the the Dooney website, and I'll link it below. Um, and the strap on this comes in brown tomorrow as well. Um, it also comes in black. It comes, I've seen it in like a, like a burgundy red. It comes in a couple of different colors. But right now on the website, I see, I, um, it's in, I see it in the color brown tomorrow right now on the website. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move, in, move into her. I'm going to move out of this beauty. And I'm going to move into my sandwich satchel. So I have here my, this is my um, case where I carry my ear pods and my phone chargers. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. I'll put that on the pocket, the, the larger pocket here in the back. bring my catch all it fits in there really nicely I always bring my sunglasses and I tend to like to put my sunglasses on my key keeper wallet which I love this little wallet and then finally I have my keys which I will put so there you have it all my stuff is in there with a with still with room to spare and I'll zip her up I 
on the actual house. One thing I noticed about this bag right off the bat is that it does scratch a little easier. I think I just made that scratch like just now. But yeah, this is my sandwich like, Sancho. I'm gonna wear her like this. Um, I think I'm also going to take the strap off of this bag. This is my Courtney sack. And put it onto this bag. And you can also wear this strap as well with this bag. I think instead of wearing this strap, I'll keep this strap on it. Yeah, I like that. So yeah, this was just a very quick review on my sandwich satchel. Um, shout out to the person who requested this. Uh, this is specifically for you <laughs> um, because she, she did ask to see both. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you guys enjoyed this beautiful bag. It is beautiful, is it not? So you guys, that was my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Again, I will leave um, all of the bags that I am able to find on the website in the description box below for you guys. And if you're not already, go ahead and follow my Facebook page so that you have also click the notification bell to be notified um, when I post new things on my uh, YouTube page as well. So yeah, that was it for me and I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.